tonight. Uh, a federal law enforcement source tells me uh, that a suspicious person was flagged to local police here at the rally for acting strangely before the gunman opened fire, which caused police to begin a foot chase for this person. One report says the person was acting nervously and pacing near the metal detectors. Now the Secret Service director should resign today. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Put discount code in here and you'll get this shirt off 24% uh, off if you put in um, Fight24, right? Fight24. Like this video, like this video, like this video. Hit the like button, like this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, the Secret Service Director should be fired immediately. It's not even a question. This not even it's, this this shouldn't even be a, a second thought. This woman is incompetent, and Secret Service failed. It makes me so mad because this man could have been gone, family destroyed forever. Somebody actually lost their life. And, and, and what else to say? Oh, we the wait till you hear what she said in this interview. Wait till you hear what she said. Failure after failure after failure, and she don't even understand what she's doing. Get this woman out of here. Let's play a succession real quick, cause I'm, I'm getting heated. Let's play a succession real quick. This is a four minute clip of the the total incident that happened from start to finish with every angle that exists out there that's relevant. So I want to go through this first, so you guys can see everything that was going on for the four minutes before Donald Trump was shot at. And then we're going to listen to the FBI director. And then, I, then, then I'm, I'm probably going to lose my mind on that last part. Roll the clip. We're doing his job. I wouldn't even be doing this. I get some beautiful place with a gorgeous ocean. Look, they're all pointing. The Atlantic, big in the Pacific. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there. See him? 12 seconds in, somebody's on the roof. He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. And so I'm here with you fighting like hell to get a sentence. What's happening? And to make sure we take back the White House yeah. because if we do, we're going to make America better than ever before. We're going to make it. Yeah, look. And it's there not he is. easy because we have millions and millions of people in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have criminals. We have people that should not be here. And it's much tougher than it is. It happened. You went on the In recorded history, we had the best border. In fact, if they could ever put up a chart, I don't know if they can do it. Do you guys have. Man, I don't know if this is accurate, but if it is accurate, it, it appears to be accurate. I think it's accurate. I have any reason to believe it's accurate. But this is so ridiculous. I'm hoping that it's not accurate. This man is on the roof right now, and we got about three more minutes left. I have access to that chart that I love so much. You don't mind if I go off teleprompter, do you? Because these Thank teleprompters God. are so damn boring. I try and explain that. Oh, it is. Wow. You guys are doing it. They're getting better with time. My guys. Take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow in the bottom. See the big red, red arrow, right? So that's when I left office. That was the lowest point, And that comes right from the government services. Comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country. And then, and then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old. And and I think that was a shot that took him out. Now, it's a bunch of screaming in my ears. Okay. But that took about a minute or so from the time they were saying he was climbing. I thought it was four minutes. Thank God it wasn't. Um, the, to the time he was climbing on that building, to the time some, he started shooting at Trump. 
Now let's look at the the uh, Secret Service director. This is going uh, uh, a trigger warning. This is going to make some of y'all incredibly mad because I was mad when I was looking this up. Wrote a clip. United States Secret Service Kimberly Cheeto speaks exclusively with ABC News, taking responsibility for that stunning breakdown in security. This is an event that should have never happened. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former Supporting president. Right. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. Minutes after Trump took the stage Saturday in front of thousands of people, <laughs> gunman Thomas Matthew Cooks wounding the former president and three others before a Secret Service counter sniper took him out. I'm being told that the uh, the shooter uh, was actually identified uh, as uh, a potential Threat. person of, of suspicion. Units started responding to seek that individual out. Tonight, uh, a federal law enforcement source tells me uh, that a suspicious person was flagged to local police here at the rally for acting strangely before the gunman opened fire which caused police to begin a foot chase for this person. One report says the person was acting nervously and pacing near the metal detectors. Now, this is notable that the suspicious person, presumably Thomas Crooks, was flagged at a separate location away from that rooftop that he climbed, raising more questions about whether this alleged shooter could have been stopped. A senior federal law enforcement source telling Fox News there were multiple radio transmissions describing a search for a suspicious person after citizens reported this to local police. Now, somebody, the, a lot of people, why don't you get Trump off the stage if you're search, you're actively searching for a suspicious person who fled from you? How do you know it's not a whole bunch of people involved in this scheme to hurt Trump? Get him off the stage till you secure what's going on. What, what's so hard about that? I don't get it. He's an important person. Dang it. A local law enforcement leader confronted the individual at the rooftop. Now, Crooks had no no. Uh, unfortunately, when he confronts the guy at the rooftop, you, you don't get on the radio and say, hey, Get Trump down, get Trump down, get Trump down. We got an active person. Maybe they did, but there should be a direct line of communication between them and Secret Service. If, if Trump wouldn't have moved his head, we'd be talking about something different. This is not okay. Listen to what this fool say. Fortunately, with the rapid succession of how things unfolded, uh, by the time that individual was eventually located, uh, they were on the rooftop and uh, were able to, to fire off uh, at the former president. ABC News now learning that heavily armed local police were actually stationed inside the building. The gunman climbed, but they missed him. Butler Town. How? 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 Y'all got one job in the same building. Officials confirming that after they became aware of the threat, a local police officer climbed up to the roof and confronted Crooks, but did not succeed in stopping him. If they became aware an officer is climbing to a rooftop, you should be notifying Secret Service. Hey, hey, we got a guy on the roof. Snipers should be already over there. Okay, let's take this guy out. He's on the roof. Should be some communication going. What was your... It gets worse, y'all. It gets worse. Listen to what she said here. And she's a, t she's a line B. She's a line B. Reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock uh, and then concern, obviously, uh, for the former president. Investigators now trying to determine whether roof access had been properly locked down. The shooter climbing up seemingly unimpeded, about 400 feet from the stage, with a direct line of sight on the former president with a rifle they forget that part he climbed up there with a rifle and i'm sure there's some people were saying he got a rifle in his hand should that roof have been secure period that building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point um and so you know there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof uh and so you know the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside 
fire this, fire that woman. I, I want to cuss. I want to cuss. I want to call it an H word. We decided not to secure a high point because it's a slope roof. The roof that the snipers were on behind Trump was a slope roof. They were on a slope roof. You just lied. You just lied to everybody. They're on a slope roof behind Trump. You dang sure want to have coverage on another slope roof. At least block the... The decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. Cheeto says the Secret Service was responsible for the inner perimeter of the rally, where Trump was. But local police were responsible for the outer perimeter, where the gunman was located. But why you got snipers then if the if Secret Service not is not responsible for outer perimeter? Then they, they're not going to man the outer perimeter, but the snipers are protecting the outer perimeter. That's what snipers are for. And there should be direct communication between the officers and Secret Service. In Washington, lawmakers demanding answers, calling on the Secret Service director to appear before Congress. We will be transparent both internally with my own folks uh, and externally with members of Congress and with the American public. Uh, that's what the public deserves. The president and Homeland Security Secretary said today they had 100 percent confidence in you. But there are some members of Congress calling on you to resign. I appreciate the secretary's comments, and we're going to continue to be transparent uh, and communicate with people. Do you plan to stay on? Absolutely. I do plan to stay on. She should not keep her job after this. This is one of the biggest blunders in Secret Service history. Secret Service, somehow the plan wasn't in place. Sometimes you, as a leader, you got to take that L. You got to step down. There needs, there needs to be some revision of uh, of what Secret Service is doing. The only reason they got her in there because she a woman. And the only reason they won't just take her down because she a woman. Listen, you can't be the head of Secret Service if you can't actually protect nobody. And she don't look like she in a position to protect anybody. Nah, you need somebody that, that, that that's on it, that can physically go out on their own and, and be in the detail. Get somebody in there that's capable. She, I, I, I know people gave her pushback on not being on that slope roof. I know for a fact people gave her pushback. There ain't no way in the world snipers like, yeah, that makes sense. We're not going to secure the roof. We'll just secure the building. Well, what happens if the local law enforcement dropped the ball? Secret Service is ultimately responsible for his life. You guys didn't have a contingency plan in place? You guys don't have comms between the two? Do a smoke signal or something? Y'all ain't got nothing? The dude climbs and sits up there for minutes at a time? There was another report of, of, of a, I don't know if it was on Reddit or something, supposedly the sniper said he was told not to, to stand down and not to take action. I don't believe that's true. Because if it is true, you're a dummy. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to see a man with a rifle on the building. I'm going to be like, I can't do nothing because they said don't do nothing. Man, I'm going to shoot that guy and ask questions later. Because he, if, he, if he ended up knocking off President Donald Trump, what's your, what's your recourse? Oh, I saw him, but they said he didn't do nothing. Just let him shoot Trump. Like, bro, stand down on me, nothing. Like, if I see somebody coming in my, like, like one of my employees got a gun on him, and they see a man walking at the front door with a gun, and they wait for me to tell him what to do. Don't wait for me, man. You shoot that dude, and then we can talk later. Anyway, I could talk about this for 100 years. Tell me what you think about it. I think the FBI director should resign just on just on optics alone. You 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 were leading the, the Secret Service. I said FBI director. I probably am mixing it up because I'm talking too fast. You are leading the Secret Service with the biggest Secret Service blunder of all time. If Trump, if Trump would have actually didn't move his head, he wouldn't be here with us. You you still stay on. You still stay on board. You get the stay because he didn't because he turned his head. Okay. All right. All right. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.